Today we are making some mashed potato cakes left over from Thanksgiving's meal. So let's get started on that. We're going to serve it up with some breakfast today. So to start out with the ingredients, what we're going to need is some coarse leftover mashed potatoes, two lovely eggs, medium to large, or one ostrich egg, one yellow onion, some of this famous seasoning that I've been reading about, and a little bit of olive oil or vegetable oil or linseed oil, whatever you want, and some AP flour, and some bread that we're going to use to make toast with. Now basically you want to just take your onion and you're just going to dice it up or mince it up however you want to do it. I like big pieces of food in my any time I make a cake of some sort because you want to be able to see and eat the ingredients in there and know that they're in there. So I just chop it up a little bit bigger. I have to apologize here. I did lose the footage of me filming putting the ingredients into the bowl. But basically it is your potatoes, your eggs, and your seasoning and then you just whip it all up with your hand here kind of mix all this together and we'll show you what a binding agent is good for here see how we have a big gloppy sloppy mess and that's not going to fry up very nice it's mushy it's getting all over your hands kind of sloppy so anytime you do like a meatloaf or crab cakes or potato pancakes or anything like that even though we are adding the flour right there Add a binding agent. We got flour here. You can use cornmeal or breadcrumbs or oatmeal, cornstarch, whatever you'd like to use. It just brings all the ingredients together that you have mixed into the pan. And then you can take your Martian fingers and clean them off. I always go to make the uh, little patties with wet hands. And then you're going to put it right into the flour, cover it with both sides. That way when it hits that hot oil, it will crisp right up and you'll have a really crispy pan I'm not, pancake. I'm sorry, but a little potato potato cake. Not a potato pancake, but a potato cake. There is a difference. Let me be clear on that before I start getting calls to the operating center. Anyway, I'm going to make about four of these. Save the rest for tomorrow. Hit them with a little more of that great seasoning I've been reading about. And then we'll get them into the frying pan. Alright, we have the hot oil. And we put these into the hot oil one at a time. Make sure it is hot before you add it or you will get it'll get a bit mushy. And then see how it's browning up on each side here. And then you just flip them over. And don't get them too close. You don't want them to be all stuck together and close to each other. They do need their um, separate space there to cook. They have a safe space. They gotta have a safe space. And let them cook in their own little area. Mash them down just a little bit, helps them cook faster. Now we see how brown and golden they're getting. They smell fantastic. Uh, the seasoning is working out just right. And then you just flip these over again, check the color on them. You can feel the crispness in there too when you're flipping them over. You can decide when you want them to stop cooking. And this is a medium to medium high heat we want to cook in. And we'll talk about that later why. Uh, I'm just going to put them right into this. Uh, plate with some paper towel, let them drain a little bit before we start cooking our eggs. But let's take a break here for a commercial. Years back, Chef John Polite came up with his own blend of herbs and seasonings while dry smoking a brisket. Turns out them same herbs and spices tasted real good in a big old pot of chili. So he came up with Chef Polite's chili seasoning and dry smoke rub. As you can see, it tastes good on everything from chicken to burgers the pork ribs and corn on the cob that even does wonders for popcorn so click on that link right there in the top corner of your screen and buy yourself a bottle a day I'll tell you what it's gluten free and it even tastes good on vegetables all right we are back from that shameless plug and we are making potato pancakes and like I talked about earlier you want to use a medium to medium high heat to cook these potato pancakes on sorry pota not potato pancakes but they're potato cakes uh, you want a medium to medium high heat because you don't want to burn them and have the oil 
full of burnt crispy little nuggets in there so that what you see is coloring in the oil is actually the seasoning from the potato cakes so I'm gonna fry up some eggs here I might scramble them because I don't care much for sunny side up or over easy or over medium yeah I'm gonna go ahead and scramble these I do have a video that I'm gonna leave a link at the top of this video about that I made that has cooking eggs and omelets so I hope you click on that and enjoy that one too okay we're just gonna stir these up on a low to medium heat slowly and gently making them cook we don't want to cook them too fast or they get tough and rubbery and get like a brown glaze I'm sure you've all seen that before but check out the link above that I've got connected to the video there so you can uh, watch how we do eggs and omelets on its only food now basically I just probably flip this over one more time and I'm just gonna turn the heat off and let them sit there until we get ready to plate it up and there it is there's your potato cakes with scrambled eggs and toast thanks again so much for watching it's only food don't forget to hit that thumbs up button leave me a comment in the comments section below subscribe to my channel share all of this on your social media page like us on Facebook by checking the link in the top right corner of the video again thanks so much for watching take care of yourselves bye bye Thank you.